The winning streak is alive and well for the Southern Ohio Copperheads as they came out with a thrilling victory today. They fell behind 4-0 to early in the ballgame and then scored nine runs in the seventh and eighth innings combined, winning the game by a final score of 9-4. to And Jake, i got to tell you, this is a game that, that had great pitching. You know, Justin Brantley was terrific on the hill, but the lineup was really the story. Uh, they were terrific in those two innings. Yeah, and this was a Dayton Docs team that jumped out to that 4 nothing lead early. Michael Clark was you know, dominant on the hill for the Docs. Uh, Justin Brantley struggled in the third and fourth inning, but what was impressive about his outing is that he ate up innings, and the fact that he went so high in the pitch count, he got better as he fatigued late in the game uh, and, and, and you know so important for him to eat innings with that thin bullpen and the, this long road trip so he was good he got the win now two and one uh, but you know down for nothing they hadn't gotten a guy on second base all game long until the seventh inning and then Matt Borgschuld he started things with that two run home run and then it just seemed like the bottom half of that lineup really started things base hit after base hit after base hit took advantage of mistakes made by the Docs pitching um, and, and did a good job in a six run inning they had a three in the next one and and just you know, an excellent output by just about everybody in the offense. Everybody got involved tonight. After the game, we caught up with a few of the stars. <laughs> there were many in this one, but we talked to Justin Brantley and to Matt Borg Schulte and got their thoughts on the big victory. But it's definitely get a start off on a good note. It's definitely great, uh, especially not playing for a couple of days, a fence game blowing down, things like that. A lot of people's minds aren't on the game anymore until today. That's why I think we're kind of slow getting out of the books. Like we said, we didn't, I don't think we had to run on second base until like the seventh inning or so, and then things turned around. Uh, but uh, we just need a little jump start to get into it, which is a good, good thing today, I guess. Yeah, we have a we have a solid lineup, and we, when we uh, when we got it going right, we can we can really do some damage. I think it just took a couple innings to uh, get back into the into the feel of the game because we've been off for those couple of days, and uh, once we got it going, we really started hitting the ball well. With the victory, Southern Ohio goes to 9-5 and five so far in this regular season. They are fourth in the GLSCL standings. And hey, they'll look to improve tomorrow as they continue a grueling road stretch. Two games in Lima tomorrow against the Lima Locos. The first of those games will be at 3 o'clock, and the second is tentatively planned for 5.30. So make sure you tune into that broadcast as Jake and I will bring it to you on CopperheadBaseball.com as always. And then make sure you also look into our Twitter page, our Facebook page, and most importantly, look into our YouTube page. We have a lot of great content that just went up, so search Copperheads Baseball for that. But with that being said, he's Jacob Corgan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads Recap.